So hi everyone, uh, those of you that do not know me, I'm Gemma, I'm a fellow 2022. I am the found co-founder and CEO of Ercilia, which is a small tech nonprofit. So again, we are not in academia and not in industry either. Uh, that aims to reduce inequality in global health. And specifically, our work is to equip laboratories in low-income countries with AI tools for infectious disease research. And just very, very briefly, we work in this space because of the of the huge imbalance in, in the global health where most of the diseases that affect low-income countries are still infections. Um, and those countries produce very little research, which of course leads to a huge imbalance where most of the research is focused on diseases that affect high-income countries. And less than 15% of the drugs that are being developed in the world, including COVID drugs, are actually for infections. So there is a large population of the world that has uh, their medical uh, care, their medical needs unmet. And this is what we are trying to tackle at Ercilia with artificial intelligence because it's cost effective, it's fast to implement, it's data driven, meaning we can use data from multiple sources, we can reuse methods that are being developed for non-communicable diseases. And of course, it's a growing field. We are scientists, we very much enjoy doing um, things that they, um, uh, that are uh, starting and expanding right now. So my fellowship goals were to promote open data sharing. I'm very happy that we've gotten so far in less than three years. Data contributed, data meaning drug discovery data from more than five institutions, including Swiss Tropical uh, Health Institute or Medicines for Malaria Ventures, so quite big institutions. We are trying to involve more the research community into the development of these AA tools. We do that through internships with Resilia, as well as collaborative projects where we engage with researchers in low-income countries and bring them in our project development pipeline. We, are, we aim to bridge the gap between software researchers and experimental scientists. I guess, Daniel, that I am one of these people that builds a piece of research software and eventually tries to turn it into a product. Um, with the training workshops, we've done a couple in person in South Africa, in Cameroon, and we are planning for at least one more this coming year. And thanks to the SSI Fellowship, I've attended a ton of conferences this last year, which has been amazing to network and to um, meet with scientists and research uh, software engineers and the like. So amazing. Um, another one of my fellowship goals was to increase the usability of already developed software. So software that is sitting out there that no one is using it. We do that We uh, our hopefully now product-like <laughs> software, which is called the Resilia Model Hub that serves AI models. It currently has over 40 contributors on GitHub, more than 1,000 um, code commits. And we won the GitHub Social Good Award um, just last week, so we are very excited about that. And then the last of the goals was to link, uh, increase the link between UK and low-income country researchers, now also Spanish uh, researchers since we are moving to Spain, um, in the context of infectious and neglected diseases. And again, with the support of the SSI Fellowship, um, we published uh, the first um, collaboration between Ercilia UK and a low-income country um, project in South Africa um, with the H3 Center. And we also hosted a postdoctoral researcher from the University of Bristol in Ercilia, Spain. So this is all ongoing work, but what I wanted to focus on, and it's gonna be very open-ended. I just wanna throw ideas out there because I know they, as I said, uh, fellows are a very diverse community. So I'm sure um, there is many different expertises that can be useful for us. So just to keep in mind, our city is a small organization, um, but we are trying to build a large community of people um, that is involved with us or with our collaborators, um, in any in research software, artificial intelligence, infectious disease research, any of these areas. So what we are doing, we try to improve our software. I know many of you here are really good um, software engineers. We always welcome feedback on our software or on its documentation. We have the, we work uh, fully open source, fully openly real time on GitHub. So you can always check our GitHub projects and GitHub issues where we are trying to document everything that we find. But if you, 
uh, want to give it a try and let us know how it works. We are absolutely extremely happy to hear feedback about that. Um, we are trying to engage the broader community. So if you have connections, if you yourself could be data contributors, data related to drug discovery for infectious diseases, or even with fully built AI models or just open yeah. source contributors, meaning support of the backend infrastructure or academic collaborators, meaning people that maybe are experimental researchers and can apply our tools and provide us with experimental validation or simply benefit from what we are doing. And then the third, uh, we are trying to disseminate our work because one thing is to build a piece of research software and the other is to get people to actually use it and enjoy it. And so we are really putting a lot of effort into going to conferences, talks, organizing trainings, doing social media campaigns and community building. Um, we wanna build an international community. Ercilia's Slack has over 100 participants from more than 10 countries. It's quite active, so I guess that's a success, but we always welcome tips um, for that. And if anyone wants to be part of the community and of our Slack channel, you can just email me and I'll send you an invite link. And yeah, that's it. Um, I left all these links on on the Hack and D. This is our website, our code, our um, the model hub, which is our main piece of software, its documentation, and then where you can find us in social media. So thanks. Um, I tried, oh, this is from <laughs> also another <laughs> presentation. I just copied the slide, sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. Hope I was on time. Yeah, bang on. Fantastic, thanks Gemma. Um, do we have any questions for Gemma? <laughs> oh, we have two. Uh, so, uh, Daniele? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was trying to find out how to raise a hand. I can't see it. Um, I was looking at your repositories. I see that Python is heavily used. Um, I'm very familiar with the PyCon communities in Africa where we've had people from, for example, from Carpentries uh, attending. I was in Changokon, Africa last week in Tanzania. Um, so it, are, are the, you're talking about conferences and, and meeting people. Do, do you find value in Python and PyData conferences and that kind of thing? Yes, yeah, that's a great question. We haven't yet gone to any of those already in Dava conference um, just because of a lack of time and resources, basically. Um, but yes, we would really love we do have a lot of interns from African countries through Outreach, for example, um, but we haven't yet gone to the big conferences. Actually, we would like our to be able to sponsor our interns to go there on behalf of our city, so they also have the chance to network in their communities. But we don't have, we haven't found funding for this. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. We can talk. <laughs> yeah. um, fantastic, uh, and we uh, we love make when we love when connections are made. Uh, and uh, Mario. Yeah, thanks, uh, Gemma. Uh, I always get your name wrong. Uh, um, you said that CEO was quite small, but how small is small? Is it just you or is it, <laughs> is it you um, and a couple of others? Or? We are two people full time. Then okay. we have two rounds of five to 10 interns um, that are undergrads and master's students. We always have some master's students. We've had like three master theses so far. Um, and then our collaborators, sometimes we work very closely when there is a specific project. Um, so very small and very big, depending on how you count. Okay. But yeah, full-time, it's two people. Cool. Cheers. 